Oliver on this is smaller things and I'm gonna be doing a video on a little tour of my room and the insects and arachnids that are in there. So I'm gonna start on the left side of the room with my most venomous um, bug. This is a black widow. I'm gonna take the page a little forward so you can see. So there she is. Right there. I just put her in this habitat and yeah, so she's settled in fairly well. Um, yeah, I hope that she'll also make a little bit of a web over here too. She's just went under there. Also another way to, a really easy way to tell if a black widow is female or male is the females are black and they have the hourglass and the males are really small and they're kind of hard to identify. They sort of look like the females with, I guess, different colors and they're a lot smaller and they're also not venomous. Well, not as venomous. Only the females are the ones that are venomous and yeah. All right, so going to the right, I have um, my Western Forest Scorpion which I'll be moving into a bigger enclosure very soon. Yeah, very soon. Um, right, probably pretty soon. So I'm gonna take off the lid and the cork bark. Take out the cork bark. And I'm gonna just grab this. All right, so there she is. Yeah, you can tell these are, I'm pretty sure this is a female. I, you can tell because the um, bodies are slightly more flat and wider than the males, and the males' bodies are kind of skinny. Also, you can tell by the, um, the tail that the, or the segments are slightly longer if it's a male, and if it's a female, the um, segments are shorter. So, yeah. That's it with her. I'm gonna put the cork bark back in and move on to the next one. The lid on. All right, so here's my feeders. These are just some mealworms and some banjo crickets. You may be wondering why I have a jar of dirt in there, which is because the crickets will lay their eggs, the female crickets, um, after they've mated, will lay their eggs, and that's how they reproduce, so, yeah. That's pretty much it with these. I, there's kind of a funny story behind these. Um, my friend went and got crickets from, like, a farmer who, like, farms crickets, and they're really cheap, so he thought that they were just, you know, a, like it was like fifteen dollars. So that's pretty cheap. He was getting like fifty crickets and fifty mealworms, which actually, or I think I don't think it was fifteen dollars. I think it was more like ten or something like that. But anyways, um, he got them in a box and he opened them in his house, and there were over 500 crickets and I'm not exactly sure about the mealworms but probably over 200 and that was crazy so he couldn't have that many so he asked me if I wanted some and I did so yeah it's kind of a weird story but all right also um here's my wolf spider um she has an egg sac right there she's right at the spot, like right at the corner, so I can't see her because the glass is kind of bumpy, which is annoying. But she usually comes out. Um, but you can see that little white patch thing. That's an egg sac. Yeah, so these, um, I caught her in California. I caught her in San Francisco, actually. But she's really cool. Also, these are I'm pretty sure you can catch them all over North America. These are a really fun species if you're a beginner or 
or even if you're not a beginner, I just think they're really fun. I would recommend getting one of these or catching one. Yeah, I'm not positive if you, if you can buy them, but if you can, I guess that's cool too. Moving on, I have my Asian Forest, no, not Asian Forest, I'm sorry. Um, giant Asian Mantis. So, yeah, this one, I'm pretty sure is a female, I'm not positive. Alright, so there she is. These are really fun um, mantids, but it's pretty chill. I'm pretty sure it's a female. You can tell by the segments on the abdomen. Um, if there's seven, then it's a male, and if there's five, it's a female. And also, if they're slightly more scrunched up on the end, it's a male, and if they're not, it's a female. You can also tell by the abdomen again because it's with females. Our abdomens are generally more wide, and the males are generally um, thinner. So yeah, I'm hoping this is a female. I'm not positive yet. It's a little too small to tell, but you can look from the here. It sort of looks like a female because of the segments on the bottom. Yeah. So, these are really fun for feeding, also, um, you can feed them, alright, sorry about that, the storage on my phone ran out, so I had to use my iPad, sorry if the quality is a little bit worse, but, yeah, so, she's doing good, like I was saying, um, I feed her three, like, once every three or six three to six days and she's really fun so yeah that's pretty much it on her and I'm gonna close this up it this I took off the little rubber ring around this so it has a little bit of ventilation but I just open it periodically and to let some air in yeah this I just caught a um, I'm not positive, it might be a um, running crab spider, I think that's what it's called, or a ground crab spider. Pretty sure it's called a running crab spider, but it's just in here. I think it's under the cork bark. Unless, yeah, I think it's under the cork bark. And I don't, I don't really want to disturb it because I'm going to just let it settle in a little bit before I move it again. Alright, here I also have a velveteen tarantula, which isn't actually a tarantula, um, but yeah, so she's right here, she's under her burrow, and I'm, yeah, so this is pretty much it on her, she's pretty chill, I feed her every couple weeks, she's not a very greedy eater, so you don't really have to feed her often. A lot of times she won't take food, so it's also kind of a surprise if, she, surprise if she eats. But I just have a water dish in here, a hide, and she's pretty simple. I caught her, um, so she's wild caught. Yeah, that's on her, and for my last one, I have my jumping spider, which is a Johnson's jumper. So, I'm going to try to open the lid and show you where he is. I'm pretty sure it's actually a male. Oh, yeah. He's in there in that um, piece of, like, choya spine. I'm going to see if I can move this around so you can see a little bit better. You can see that red abdomen, hopefully. It's pretty cool. Yeah, sorry about the quality. It's not very good. I also, I got a camera um, at a garage sale, so the quality will hopefully hopefully be better um, in the next video, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the tour, should I put the lid on, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, bye. <laughs>